Hello folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. How are y'all doing tonight? Coming to you from the man cave. We're going to unbox the new, my newest acquisition, the E-Flight Cirrus SR22T 1.5 meter. This is the new upgraded version that comes obviously in the red and it has the newer Avian, Smart Avian uh, ESC and the newer generation of their uh, receiver. I'm going to say it's an AR 36TA, or we'll see when we unbox it. Um, but she's got flaps, she's got light, she's got a real robust uh, fixed gear. Um, just like the previous, the blue and white uh, Cirrus, which I love that plane, great flying plane. I, I, I flew the dog mess out of it, and I finally sold it to a guy at my club, and uh, missed it, obviously. And then they came out with this beauty, so I said, well, I'm getting it back. So... <laughs> And you can, this time you can run on 3S or 4S, so that's good. And uh, so let's go ahead and open this up. One thing I've done is taken her out of her cardboard outer coffin. And one thing when you're opening these E-Flight planes, they make these things in here so tight. And these, so one little tip, little pro tip that I don't uh, charge extra for. Open one, in, open both ends, and then that way. It's much easier for you to get the plane out. It uh, negates that suction. Okay, so let's take her out of her foam coffin here, or out of her outer foam outer box, and set her back here. Now this would be a good time to go ahead and put your box back together so that you can put the foam, I call it foam coffin, back in there and keep track of all your uh, Parts. I mean, God forbid you have a bum plane and have a bunch of problems and now you're going to have to send it back. That way you can just put a packet right back in the box. I, my rule of thumb is I don't throw a box or a, any of the packing material away until I've completely built the plane and I know I'm committed to her. Because otherwise I can always take her back apart and uh, send her back if I know it's a bunch of damage. And I, if it's something that's beyond a simple repair, or let's so say it's a shipping issue, if it's a defect, I'm going to let them know, take pictures, you know, and uh, Horizon High, if you'll just show the documentation, take pictures or, or a video of what you find, they'll make it right. Got to give them a chance. All right, we got a nice manual, it's all a little plastic uh, container. All right, we'll lay the manual down there. There's an addendum. Um, okay, about this CG, so that's important. Okay. Keep a trash can handy for all your uh, plastic that you're going to remove. Looks like the right wing. Nice, very nice. Um, you got your lights on the side. Nav lights, nav, or landing lights. Uh, I'm not sure what this plastic bit here is. Very, this this foam is cooked for a really long time. And we've got ah Fowler flaps, and and uh, just like the uh, original series did. But this this hookup's a little bit different. Um, nice rounded flaps to go in there. Or rounded ailerons, and we've got mechanical plastic hinges, not a foam hinge. That is an awesome, awesome touch. Move this cardboard here. Okay, Get this out here. Foam divider there. Got one piece of the landing gear. Okay. Here is our other wing, the left wing, nicely done, very nicely done. This is going to be a wonderful build, it really will be. Okay, take. Now she's packed in well. I'm, I swear, the way they pack these planes, you could drop this thing off the side of the building and you wouldn't have any problem with it. Before we don't want to force anything. Ah, oh, oh, there you go. I just popped right. The fuselage. 
Get this out of here. Oh man, isn't that pretty? All right, we'll get to fuselage in just a moment. Let's, there's stuff on the other side of the styrofoam that I need to show you. Uh, there's a big bolt there that goes through the end of the tail here that held the whole everything in place. That's, a, that's taking the extra mile there. That means that they've got stuff secured on this side. Oh, here's the wing spar. And you've got two. One for the main wing, one for your horizontal stabilizer. Or elevator. So let's open everything up here. You, know, you, you could drop this plane off a truck and it ain't gonna hurt it. One of the, you know, packed in this fire room. Alright, and what do we got here? Alright, on this side we have our little bag of nuts and bolts. All the antenna, the nuts, the uh, screws that you're going to be using, uh, steering arm. Looks like we're going to be using a Phillips head screwdriver. And the other piece of landing gear. Okay. Take that off. Of there. Okay, our prop, which. Um, Incidentally, this prop is the same prop that you put on the uh, Turbo Timber Evolution, if I remember correctly. Hold on just a second. Let me see. Yes, it is. Looking at the Turbo Timber, it's the same prop. So, and the nose gear. Okay. And then, oh, this is great. The elevator has nylon, looks like nylon hinge, yes, nylon hinges, or maybe that's CA hinges. But yeah, good quality hinge. So you're not you're not gonna have to, it's not a foam hinge. Oh, that's great. And you've got carbon fiber spar going through the elevator. And then of course you've got the other carbon fiber spar that would so this is gonna be a very Strong, high performance type plane. It'll be nice and stiff. Um, something you might want to do there's a piece of wood they've got anchored in there. I'd take that piece of wood out. That's a good piece of modeling wood. You can use it for something. And yeah, don't throw away wood. That's always a plus. All right, let's see. We've got all of our little pieces of styrofoam here. And, uh, I'll take this piece of styrofoam, stick it back on there like that. Okay. If we can get this out of the way for right now, we can show you the main star of the show, which is the fuselage. Nice handles on the side for uh, access to your battery hatch. And as Brian Phillips pointed out, and, and I'm glad to see that the uh, pilot actually does have a nose. He called it the anti-Pinocchio because the pilot they used last time didn't have a nose. He just had a little mush there. And very nice, very nice detailed cockpit. I don't know if you're able to see up. Let me see if you can see up in there or not. Real nice cockpit in there. And uh, looks really nice. Okay, we got a... AR637TA um, receiver. So that's awesome. This plane will run on probably the best the best battery for this would be a 3200 3S or a 3200 4S. That's what I would run. Or you could do a 2200 also. Um, but I'm probably going to maiden on a 3200 3S and then I'll maiden on a on the 4S maiden on a 3200 4S. The nice little touch here is they have, I don't know if you can get in on this, 
one of the antennas wraps around here, comes out through the foam, and then they've got it channeled along here, and then comes up right to here, and now there's the, the active end of the antenna. So they, and then the other one, the other antenna, aha, uh -huh, they got the other antenna wrapped around this way to make those antennas go at 90 degrees, which is what you want. You want those antennas to be 90 degrees, yes. You can see this, the other antenna is wrapped around there, and then the, the active end is this way. This end is up here, so they're at 90 degrees from each other. 60 amp Avian Smart ESC. So this is, there's a lot of nice touches. Now, you have to put your prop on. If I remember right, this thing here has to slide forward. Yeah, yeah. You got some strong magnets that hold this hatch on, and you got these little pins. You slide it in and pop it down. So put that in there like that. Or oh, oh, it slides back like that. Maybe. You take a look at here and see. I take a little looky looky. Okay, yeah. You're gonna slide it in. Just like that. So slide it in that way. So you got plenty of room, um, got that good grade. Oh, look at this, folks. Now they've got, instead of two single magnets like they had in the last series, if I remember right, now they got four of these rare earth magnets that hold. So you're not going to use, you're not going to lose your canopy at all. No, that's in there good. Nice, quick connects that you're... Uh, Screws will go through to hold the wing. A quick connect for the uh, the lights, the, the ailerons, and the flaps. Put your spar through there. Yeah, this is not going to be bad at all. Um, uh, you've got foam and nylon CA reinforced hinges for the rudder, which is excellent. And your rudder is already hooked up for you. Um, nice plastic backing. To where these uh, elevators are going to hook in, they're just screwed in with a self-tapping screw. Very nice, very nice little details. Like, like right there, it's got a thing that says "no step" right there. That, that's just oh, a belly light. Oh, and looky here, and you've got access here. If I can get it open, let me get a blunt object here. Sorry to have my back to you. I know there's going to be a strong magnet here. Yeah. And you've got hatch so you can adjust your elevator and your rudder back here with a nice Phillips head. You can adjust your, uh, and also the linkage for the front gear is there. So yeah, this is, this is nice. And, and you're going to screw in an antenna here to give you, you can have that for access to get to that really strong hatch. All right, well, folks, let's just put these parts out here. Parts is parts is parts. Very low part count. I mean, you got your spars, manual, your fixed gear, land, both your wings, fuselage. This is going to be a very easy build. So let's get her together folks and um, I'll do I'll as part of this unboxing I'll go ahead and get this plane built and then we'll, we'll continue on with this video and I'll if I come across anything that you need to know about or anything that, that's because this, these manuals are you just follow the manuals it's not hard but if I come across anything that I think is wrong a deflect a defect or something that you need to pay attention to I'll include that in the post unboxing of this and post build so Thank you so for much. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna take a little break. So much for that. I can't talk. We're gonna come back in just a few minutes. So stay tuned. Remember, faith, family, and friends. Bye, y'all.